I don't usually make videos that discuss my personal life, but I think there's a valuable lesson to be learnt here, especially considering a lot of younger people watch my channel. I think that if I was properly educated, I might have been able to avoid some of the most difficult and challenging times of my life. A smart necromancer learns from his own mistakes. A wise necromancer learns from the mistakes of liches. Please learn from my mistakes, and don't allow yourself to fall for the same tricks that I did. With that in mind, it's time I share with you the story of how I was tricked by a narcissist. It was the height of the pandemic, and my long relationship of 8 or 9 years was at an end. I was lonely, suffering from some heartache, and uniquely vulnerable to the most deadly weapon in a narcissist's arsenal. Love bombing. Love bombing is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. I met this person, and she was absolutely everything I've ever wanted. She was beautiful, talented, intelligent, and she made all my dreams come true. All of them. She put me in actual heaven, and I look back upon the love bombing phase of the relationship as possibly the best time of my life. I was never so happy with a partner as I was back then. Unfortunately for me, it only lasted a month or two. Little did I know I was about to enter the next phase of abuse the narcissist had in store for me the criticism phase. This was a time where the love I was previously shown was replaced with a time of confusing cruelty. This person who was so perfect and loving just a short time ago was now being venomous and showing some truly nasty sides of herself. It was at this point I should have recognized something was very wrong and broke it off then and there. But I was still convinced that this was just a temporary thing and soon all that love and affection I was being shown previously would return. Oh how wrong I was. For I was about to enter the longest and most awful part of the narcissist's abusive game, the discarding phase. During this phase I was made to feel unwelcome, unwanted. Unlike the previous phase where there was lots of criticism and attacks but still some affection, during this phase affection was cruelly denied. I was pushed away. This phase was the most confusing part of the relationship for me. How could someone who loved me so much just a short time ago have become so cruel? I was confused hanging on to what once was, thinking it would return, but it never would. There was a final stage of the abuse cycle waiting for me, the reclaiming phase. The reclaiming phase is something that can be best described as a promise of love bombing, but never quite reaching that point. It's an increase of affection and love to reel you back in for more of the other two phases. For me personally, it seemed to cycle between the discarding phase and the reclaiming phase. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't educated on narcissism and had no idea what was happening. I married the narcissist because she made me so happy during the love bombing, and she really is wonderful in so many ways. But it wasn't ever going to work. I was actually rescued by my family, who convinced me to come home after I'd told them about how she had changed her sexual orientation toward being attracted to women and was now having relationships with women, giving them all that attention and love that I so desperately wanted. All part of the discarding phase, I guess. So watch out, everyone. Learn from my mistakes. There are bad people out there. I don't know what the point of being a narcissist is and don't understand why they do what they do. But I was able to finally recognize what was happening to me after watching a video on it. I'll link that below. If you ever find yourself in a relationship with someone and recognize that you're being love-bombed, my advice is to enjoy it while it lasts, but recognize that it is happening. Then the moment they change into that venomous snake and start treating you like shit, break it off with them. It might be hard to recognize what's happening to you though, and realize that you're with a narcissist. It's all part of their spell. Definitely don't marry them, or spend all your money on them, or think that they will stop treating you badly and start loving you again. They seem incapable of that. I unfortunately made those mistakes, and now I gotta sort my mess of a life out by divorcing and feeling the pangs of regret from all that emotional, financial, and romantic pain. The worst part about all of this is that I still deeply love this narcissist, and if I could be guaranteed a proper relationship with her, I'd entertain taking her back. But I now know that I can never take her back because she will never be a decent and loving partner, and will never treat me right. It's really unfortunate and confusing. Like, why would you do that? What's the point of it? I'll never understand. Hopefully all her future partners watch this video and get out before they're damaged by her diabolical machinations. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little story. Be careful out there, learn from my mistake, and get out before they wreck you.